Hi, everybody. It's Kelly Russell, the Rock Your Joy coach. And my topic today is Who's Your Daddy? It, this is in honor of the upcoming Father's Day. And so I want to uh, tell a story about how I found out that my father is not really my father. Or I should say how I found out that my dad is not really my father. So when I was a child, I absolutely adored my dad. And he was a great guy and he did all kinds of things with me. And he was fun and funny and he was a great storyteller and he taught me to do all kinds of stuff. And, you know, he just, he was helpful and thoughtful and generous and kind and all the kinds of things that you want in a dad. Right. Um, but also he was an alcoholic and unfortunately because I didn't have the ability to have a different mindset uh, back then, um, like I do now, I and my ego mind used that to make him guilty. And whenever we choose guilt over love, whenever we're looking through the, the filter of fear and making a brother guilty and wrong, then we are going to, that's going to shift our our perception. And that's what happened is that I went from thinking my dad was a great guy to being angry and resentful of him and blaming him for everything that I thought was wrong with my life, literally until he died. There was a brief shining moment when I was 20, where I actually wrote him a letter of forgiveness. And, um, that letter was very meaningful to him. He cried, I cried. He carried it in his wallet for the rest of his life. Um, but I didn't really forgive him in the way that, I, that I have since learned through being a Course in Miracles student that forgiveness really works. And I forgave him because I made him wrong. And then I basically, you know, forgave him for being wrong and you know for ruining what i thought was ruining my life and that's not really forgiveness and so when i became a course in miracles student after studying it for a while and after learning the particular version of forgiveness that the course in miracles teaches what i realized is that the course in miracles teaches that we are all brothers we are all one son of god and we are all one creation of the divine and so my dad was really not my father. My dad was my brother. Our father is our creator. Our father is God or spirit, whatever, whatever word you have for the, the God of your understanding. That's who my father really is. I, I, as all my brothers do, including my dad, come from spirit, perfect, whole, divine love. And my dad was who was, who, who was someone that was playing the role that I assigned to him of being my father in this world, in this dream world. And he was here to teach me the meaning of love. That is the only thing anyone is here in this world, in our dream world to teach us. That is what we are here to learn. We're here to learn how to love. And when I re realized that love in the Course in Miracles teaching means being able to forgive someone, not forgiving them for what they have done, but in fact, forgiving them for what they haven't done. If this world as A Course in Miracles teaches is a dream, it is an illusion that our ego minds, this mass hallucination that our ego minds are making up, then my father, my dad was not guilty of anything other than me projecting my unconscious guilt, believing that I had separated from God and that that's how I wound up being in this earthly hallucination in the first place. 
me believing that I was guilty of that and projecting that out onto various circumstances and people in, in my world. And one of the very first things that I learned as a child to project, project that onto was my dad and then making meaning out of his drinking and making personal meaning out of it. And this is what we do. We make meaning out of things that don't have any business being linked together. You know, whether my dad's journey in this world, you know, in, in, in my dream was as a person that coped with alcoholism didn't mean anything about his loving me. It had nothing to do with it. The two are not related. And so when I can see my dad, so when I can practice forgiveness, it's not, I forgive you dad for being an alcoholic and blah, 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 whatever follows. It is, I forgive you because I remember there's nothing to forgive. I remember that I am making this ego illusion up in my mind and I am projecting it onto you as a way to avoid my, my guilt over believing that I'm separate from God, which is not true. So when I remember that, and then I ask spirit, help me see the situation differently. And I release it to spirit. That was my getting out of that prison of imprisoning my father and myself at the same time. What we're, who we're really forgiving when we practice that forgiveness is our own false perception our own our own allegiance to fear instead of love and when i was able to do that then i was able to release my father for all everything that he wasn't guilty of and i was able to see this as he was here to really teach me and that is our circumstances and our relationships our relationships is where we learn in this world where we learn how to practice love love is a choice and my father, my father was a great guy and he was a loving guy. And I could choose to look at my father's demonstration of living in the world and see the kindness and the generosity and the helpfulness and the humor and the laughter and the stories and all of the ways that he expressed love in the world. I could look at all of that and see that was my legacy from this brother who played this role as my earthly father. Or I could focus on one aspect of him that he coped with in the world, which was addiction to alcohol. And one of those is focusing on love and one of those is focusing on fear. And so since I learned that through the study of A Course in Miracles, and since I was able to shift my perception from fear to love, I was able to see my father in the light of the truth of who he really was and is and forever remains. And although he made his transition from the world when I was 31, since that time, I've repaired my relationship with him and I, I see him in my meditations and we smile at each other and, and I know that he is with me. I know that he is my brother and I have gratitude now to him for being one of my teachers in this life and for, for teaching me the meaning of love and through being someone um, that demonstrated that to me and my being able to see that my being able to forgive him for in, in fact, what he didn't do. If, if, if we're living in a dream, he's not guilty of anything, but that being able to, to see him in his innocence and in his light and the love that he radiated and being able to then see myself in the same way, because if I'm holding a brother guilty, I am not going to be able to see my own innocence. So I thank my father, my creator, I, God for 
sending my dad to me as being the perfect person to be my father in the world. And I thank my dad for agreeing to come here and take it all on and be the best dad that he was able to be to me, which was great for everything that he taught me, everything he was to me and everything he still is. So thank you, father. And thank you, dad. Happy father's day. I love you. Mwah.